For more videos, press the subscribe button and also turn on the bell notification to receive the updates directly in your device. Hello friends, I am Vikas Nehra. Welcome you all to our live Linux training for members. This is session number 42 and in this session we will talk about the memory management in Linux. In this tutorial, I will tell you how to manage RAM memory and cache. We start with simple tools to display information about the memory like free, top and cat slash proc slash mem info commands. Then we will continue with managing the swap space using terms like swapping, paging and virtual memory. And at the last part, I will show you how can you use the vm stat command to monitor the swap uses. So without wasting time, let's get started. Let's start the session with displaying the memory details. To display the memory details, you can execute cat slash proc slash mem info command. It will show you the detailed information about the memories. Actually, it is not a file. It is directly providing us the information from the kernel. The first line here in the output is showing us the total amount of physical RAM this one. The second line is the unused RAM or the free RAM. Buffer or buffers is the RAM used for buffering. Cached is the amount of RAM used as cache and swap cache is the amount of swap used as the cache. And this file gives us much more information outside the scope of our training. So here it is showing us the in-depth information about the memories in our machine. Now let's proceed further. Another tool that we can use is the free command. The free tool can display the information provided by the slash proc slash mem info in a more readable format and you can have a look at this. This line is showing us the information about the RAM and the next line is showing us the information about the swap. If you want to see the details in MB, you can mention free hyphen M. If you want to see the information in GBs, this memory information will get displayed in GB like this. And if you want to see it in KBs, you can mention hyphen K here. Another tool that you can use is the top command. As I have shown you in my previous videos, especially in the process management video, how can you use the tool command to see the detailed information regarding the processes as well as about the memory. The top tool is often used to look at the processes consuming most of the CPU, but it also displays memory information in line 4 and 5 and you can get this information from these two lines. In the fourth line it is showing us the information about the RAM and the, in the fifth one it is showing us the information about the swap. So here we can use this tool as well. And if you want to go in detail you can watch this video. I'll provide you the link of this tutorial in the description of this video. Now I will teach you how can you manage the swap space. If you want to see the swap details, you can execute lsblk command. Here it will show you the partition being used as the swap and the other details like its size, its type. So all things you can display with the help of the lsblk command. But if you want to see the in-depth information about the swap, you can execute cat slash proc slash swaps command. It will show you the detailed information about this swap like its size, its use and its priority. Now <clears throat> I will teach you how can you manage the swap space. First I will teach you how can you add or create a swap partition. So I already have a disk present in my machine and on this disk I will create a partition first. 
so i will use the f disk utility for that n for new p for primary partition number 1 default size and i want to create a partition of 2 gb only and then i will change the type also so i will change the type to linux swap and then i will write the changes now i can execute the part probe command so that the kernel can read these changes and the partition has been created successfully now if you want to use this swap partition or if you want to use this partition as swap either you can directly use it or you can create the lvm and then you can format it as swap space here i'm directly going to use this partition i'm directly going to use the physical partition as the swap space so i will execute the mk swap command here mk swap and then the partition name so what it will do it will format this partition as swap and it will generate the uuid against the same and we can also verify the same by running the lsblk hyphen f command so this partition is formatted as the swap space and this is the uuid of this but this partition is not activated yet if you will execute the cat slash proc slash swaps command it will not show up here and even if you will execute the lsblk command you will not find this partition being used as the swap space so how can we do that to do that we will activate this so we will execute swap on command here swap on slash dev and the partition name so it will be activated and we can verify the same by running the lsblk command here now you can see this the partition is being used as the swap space now in case if we need this permanently what can we do we can make an entry in the slash etc slash fstep file so for that we would require the block id of this partition so here we will execute slash dev and the partition name and blk id command and we will copy this uuid and then we will make an entry in this slash etc slash fstep file so here we will mention uuid is equal to and we can mention the uuid of that particular partition which is being used as the swap space and after that we can mention their swap defaults 00 and we can save this file now this partition will be used as the swap space permanently now if you will execute the cat slash proc slash swaps command it will show up here so you can have a look at this and even if you will execute the free command you can see it here in the total size the total size has been increased now i will show you how can you create a swap file and how can you use it like a swap space so for that we can execute the dd command dd if is equal to slash dev slash zero then we will mention off and here we will mention the name of the file let me write the name as small swap file that we will create on the root then we will mention the block size is equal to 1024 and then we can mention the count here count is equal to 4096 it would be the size and after that we can press enter here so it will create a file let me show you the file and this file has been created on the root now what we are going to do we are going to change the permissions on this file so we will mention the permissions like 0600 and we can mention the name of the file there and we will verify the permissions now the permissions are good and now we can use this file to create the swap space so for that we will execute mk swap command here mk swap and the file name so it will generate the uuid and now we can turn on this swap so we will execute swap on and the name of the file small swap file so this will be turned on and we can verify the same by running the cat slash proc slash swaps command and here you can see this the file is being used like a swap space and 
you can also execute the free command to see the details you can have a look at this and in case if you need it permanently you can make an entry in the slash etc slash fstep file for the same here either you can mention the uuid or you can mention the file name like slash small swap file then after that you can mention here swap defaults zero zero and you can save this now you have made the changes permanent now let's proceed further now i will tell you how can you use the vm state command to monitor the memory you can find information about the swap uses by running the vm stat let me show you if you execute vm stat it will show you the details about the memory swap input output system and cpu you can also use this tool like this you can execute vm stat 200 Here it will show us 100 outputs at an interval of 2 seconds. So here we can get the details about the memory, about the swap, about input output, system and CPU. So guys that's it from my side for today's session. Now I will request you to go through the practice exercise given on page number 218 of the same PDF which I have provided you and I will also request you to go through the solutions provided on the next page if you face any challenges there in the questions. I hope you will find this session useful for you. If you like it then do share it with your friends and colleagues and if you are new on our channel then please subscribe us and turn on the bell notification. I'll see you in the next one. Till then. Bye bye, Jai Hind, Vande Matram, take care.